Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to match your vocals to the beat. If you notice your vocals don't match the beat in the Windows or Mac web browser version of BandLab, it's usually one of two things. Either the audio latency compensation has not been correctly set up, or the vocals have not been sung in time with the beat. So let's first start by setting up the audio latency compensation. And to do this, we need to make sure that the sound is coming out of speakers and not headphones, and that we've got a working microphone. At the bottom left of the browser window, click on Source. Now, talk into the microphone. You should see a green line move up the vertical bar to the left of the computer and microphone images at the bottom center of the browser window. The green line should, preferably, get high enough for the top of the line to be yellow. If there is no green line, click on the drop-down list just below the word input on the left side of the browser window and select your microphone input or audio interface. Then click on the next drop-down list and select the input channel of your microphone. Finally, click on the play icon at the top of the browser window to make sure the playback can be heard through speakers. To set the latency compensation, BandLab uses the microphone to listen for a beat from the speakers. So now that we've got the microphone and speakers set up, let's run the latency test. At the top left of the browser window, click on Tools. Then click on Latency Test on the pop-up message. Then click on Start Test. The distance between the microphone and the speakers and the angle may affect the accuracy of the test. But with the test complete, you should now be able to record your vocals in time with the beat. However, if you are still having problems or you have already recorded your vocals, you can match the vocals to the beat manually. So let's start by turning off Snap. If you're not sure what Snap is, you can click on the link at the end of this video to my tutorial on Snap. At the top right of the browser window, click on the Snap icon that looks like a magnet so the icon turns white and Snap is turned off. You may also find it useful to zoom in on the track grid to make more precise adjustments. At the top right of the browser window, click on the Zoom In icon. Each time you click on the icon, you'll zoom in further. If all of the vocals in the vocal track are behind the beat due to latency, you can manually move the whole track to match the beat. Just above the first track, click on the ruler at about the point where the vocals start on the vocal track to move the white vertical track position marker. The vocals appear as wave images on the track. Press the left mouse button on the white triangle at the top of the white vertical track position marker and drag it to the left so the white vertical track position marker is lined up with the first vertical line on the ruler that is to the left of the first vocal wave image. The vertical lines on the ruler mark the beginning of each beat so lining up the beginning of the vocals to the vertical lines on the ruler should match the vocals to the beat. Press the left mouse button on the vocal track recording and drag the vocal track to the left until the beginning of the first vocal wave image is lined up with the white track position marker. The vocals should now be matched to the beat, but you might want to try moving the vocals a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left to give it a more human feel. To wonder.
there's nothing to wonder. Sometimes, though, you might have some of the words of the song that were sung off beat, and you need to move them separately from the rest of the vocals. Just above the first track, click on the ruler at about the point where the vocals start on the vocal track to move the white vertical track position marker. Press the left mouse button on the white triangle at the top of the white vertical track position marker and drag it. So the white vertical track position marker is lined up with the beginning of the vocal wave image. Click the right mouse button on the vocal track and click on Slice on the pop-up menu. Now press the left mouse button on the white triangle at the top of the white vertical track position marker and drag it. So the white vertical track position marker is lined up with the end of the vocal wave image. Click the right mouse button on the vocal track and then click on Slice on the pop-up menu. Press the left mouse button on the white triangle at the top of the white vertical track position marker and drag it. So the white vertical line position marker is lined up with the nearest vertical line on the ruler to the vocal wave image. Press the left mouse button on the vocal wave image and drag it until the beginning of the vocal wave image is lined up with the white track position marker. So now you should have all your vocals matched to the beat. And as I promised earlier in this video, here is the link to my tutorial about Snap.